Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is finding unknown measures. Okay, this is lesson 13.4 uh, in our textbook. So here's our common core strand, and so our essential question is, how can we find the unknown measures of a rectangle given its area or perimeter? Okay, so here's a, uh, the first problem here. So it's dealing with area. So Margaret purchased a rug in the shape of a rectangle for her son's bedroom. The rug covers an area of 54 square feet. The base of the rectangle measures 9 feet. What is the height? Okay, so we're looking for this length right here, the height right there, okay? So what do we need to find? Well, we need to figure out uh, what's the height. So I'm going to go ahead and label that uh, H for right now for height. And what information do we already know? Well, we know that the area, they told us the whole area is 54 square feet and that the base was 9 feet right there, okay? All right, so... Uh, here we're going to use um, uh, a formula for the area to find the height. Okay, so remember in prior lessons that uh, area formula, you guys, we're going to fill this up. So I'm going to do this one at a time. So I'm going to break this down. So I see this on, on a page that we're doing here. So let's just break it down a little bit here. So uh, we're going to find the unknown measures. So think um, uh, we're going to label the measures that we uh, know. So we know that this is 9 right here. And... Uh, we, we know that the whole area is 54, I think it was in feet, so this would be 54 square feet right here. And they would like us to use uh, the letter N for our unknown, so we're going we're gonna, to uh, call this side N right here, okay? Alright, so the base is 9, the area is 54 square feet, and we'll call this little piece N right here, okay? So there's that right there. And then, so now we're going to record all of this, and so we're going to use the model to write an equation and solve. Okay, so remember the formula, uh, the formula for area. So it, it would be A goes here, area equals base times height. Do you remember that? So we're going to put a, a B for base and a multiply symbol and then an H for height right there. Okay, so area equals base times height. All right. So uh, let's use our model over here uh, and fill in the blanks right here. So my area, this is going to be 54 right here. The base is going to be 9. And then remember, they want us to use the letter N. So we'll put the letter N right there. Okay. And then um, what we're going to do now is, uh, is uh, we're going to ask ourselves, uh, what number times 9 equals 54? Okay. So 9 times what equals 54? 9 times 6 equals 54. So the value of n in this case is going to be 6 right here. And let's go ahead and answer the question right here. So let me shrink that up so I can get some room right here. So the height of the rug is going to be 6 feet. So 9 times 6 equals 54. So they gave us this is 9 feet, this is 6 feet, and the area would be 54 square feet. Okay, so explain how we can use division to find an unknown factor. Okay, well division and multiplication are just inverse operations of each other. So we can write and solve related division sentences to find the unknown factors. Okay, so here we had uh, in the prior problem 54 equals 9 times what? Well that's the same thing as 54 divided by 9 equals what right there. Okay, and this what is our quotient right there. So we can go ahead and think of the unknown factor as the quotient of a related division sentence, and we get 6 on that case, okay? So division and multiplication are just inverse operations of each other. So we, um, you know, when we had 54 equals 9 times what? Well, we can take that uh, 9 and divide it into 54. That's how we can use it as a division problem. What if the rug were in the shape of a square with an area of 81 square feet? What would the height of the rug be, okay? Well... Uh, it would be 9 because remember the formula for the area of a square is area equals uh, side times side or s times s right here. And uh, the side, the, the base and the height are the same on a square right here. So since 81 is the same as 9 times 9, then the height would be 9 feet. So this would be a 9 by 9 square. And the key word was is they said it was a square right there, okay? So how could we find an unknown side length for any square if we uh, given only the area of the square? Well, since the base and the height of the square are the same, then we just find the unknown number that when multiplied by itself gives the area. Like, you know, 6 times 6 would be 36. So if they told us the, the square area was 36 feet squared, we'd know it was a 6 by 6 square if they told us it was a square. Okay, let's try this. Here's a perimeter problem here. So find an unknown measure given the perimeter. So we're going to use a different formula on this. So Steve builds an outdoor outdoor pens to, to store animals in, and he sells these pens. So 
Steve builds outdoor pens for animals to sell. He uses 24 meters of fencing for each pen. So the pens are 3 meters wide. How long is the, are the pens? Okay, so um, all the way around is 24 meters right here. And so if this is 3 meters, then this side over here would be 3 meters. So we're looking for this length right here. How long are the pens right there? So we're going to use our perimeter formula here. Uh, to help us solve this. Okay, so let's label the measures that we know. And we'll Again, we'll use N for our unknowns right here. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and fill that in. So they told us that the width was uh, 3 meters, or the, the pins are 3 meters wide. And they, we, are, we know that the perimeter of this is 24 meters right here, okay? So, and they told us to let uh, N be the unknown length, so the unknown length will be the N right there, okay? So I just slid that up right there, okay? So then uh, we're going to go ahead and use the model to write an equation and solve. All right, well, remember, perimeter formula is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width, okay? Or you can do length plus width plus length plus width. There are two lengths and then two widths. So we can multiply one of the widths times 2 and one of the lengths times 2 and add them together. So this was the formula that we got in our prior lesson. And then so let's go ahead and plug it in right here, okay? So the perimeter is 24. We're going to put 24 right here. And then we're going to put 2 times uh, L right here, except our L is in this time. And then this is going to be 2 times, well, then we know that the width is 3. So we'll go ahead and plug in 3 right there, okay? So there's all that information. I just slid that up right there, okay? And then uh, we'll go ahead and replace this 2 times 3 for 6 right here. Okay, everything else stays the same. And then this uh, 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 2 times n is going to be our unknown uh, number that we're going to add with this 6 right here. So this 2 times n is going to be added to 6, and that's going to give us 24 right there. Okay, so 24 equals what number plus 6? So just think, uh, 24 minus 6 equals what? Well, 24 minus 6, if I count backwards, 23, 22, 21, 20. 19, 18, I'm using my fingers, you guys. So n must be 18 right there, okay? So the value of 2 times n, that's not n, I'm sorry, it's not n equals 18. The value of 2 times n equals 18, because this value right here equals 18. So 2 times what number equals 18 right there? Well, 2 times 9 equals 18, okay? So the value of n is going to be 9, and that's the length of the pen. So the pens are 9 meters long, okay? All right, so just be careful, you guys, uh, to make sure that you're using the correct formula. If they give you area, then we use our area formula. If they give us perimeter, then we use our perimeter formula. Area is base times height. Perimeter is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width right there. Okay, so, so you just got to be careful. Okay, so here, this says perimeter. We're going to use our perimeter formula. The perimeter of a square is 24 feet. Find the length of a side. Okay, well, remember, a square, you guys, they're all four sides are equal. So our formula was perimeter equals four times the length of the side right there. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in 24 equals four times S. And then we're just going to take 24 and divide that by four, and we get S equals six. So let's go ahead and answer the question. The side length of the square has to be six feet right there. All right, you guys, and if you get some time, would you guys click like? And if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you do. Take care, everybody.